Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about eight different things that AI cannot do. There's a lot of buzz at the moment about AI in education, and I'm going to talk about eight things that AI cannot do. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. So let me just move myself out of the way over here and start talking about the first thing that AI cannot do. AI cannot grade better than you. You actually bring expertise, judgment, experience, and the ability to provide qualitative feedback that goes beyond numerical scores. And so don't think that AI can actually grade better than you. Yes, it can grade standardized tests and, and answers for multiple choice questions. It cannot grade as well as you can, as you bring a lot of experience and you bring a lot of nuance when you're looking at qualitative pieces of work. So the first thing that AI cannot do is grade better than you. So the second thing that AI cannot do is undermine the development of essential life skills, such as collaboration, communication, adaptability, and, and resilience. We can use AI tools to augment and enhance learning, but that doesn't mean that we still can't develop those really important communication collaboration skills and help our students to be adaptable and resilient in all situations. Now, the third thing that AI cannot do is understand the unique and individual needs of every student and adapt to unpredictable situations. Any kind of artificial intelligence uses predictive algorithms, looking at patterns and big data, and it cannot actually adapt to unpredictable situations. And so AI cannot understand the individual unique needs of our students. The fourth thing that AI cannot do is substitute the importance of developing critical thinking and problem solving skills. So we can actually use AI with our students to help them discern fact from fiction and also to develop critical thinking and problem solving skills. So AI cannot substitute the importance of those skills. The third thing that AI cannot do is negate the significance of social and emotional development in the learning process. Now, humans, as we know, we are social beings, and in the learning process, we have to take into consideration the social and emotional needs of all of our students. AI just can't do that. And AI cannot override the ethical considerations and decision-making responsibilities of educators. We actually have to teach our students ethical considerations and academic integrity when we're asking them to utilize the AI tools such as ChatGPT into their learning. The seventh thing AI cannot do is diminish the value of developing creativity because AI does not have the capacity for original thought and the ability to imagine entirely new concepts or new theories. It basically draws on big data, utilizes algorithms, then to generate information. Maybe it's a large language model like Jack GPT. It will generate language based on all the data that has been provided on the internet. And lastly, AI cannot replace teachers or humans. We will never be replaced that emotional, that human side that we bring to the learning process and students' learning journey is so important in, in terms of their development. We also possess something called meta-intelligence, and there are different aspects to meta-intelligence, which I'll talk about in my next video. So thank you so much for joining me this week. We all appreciate the value of AI and how it can enhance and augment learning for our students and for ourselves. But we have to remember that AI cannot replace us as teachers and AI cannot replace humans. So thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.